Does anybody know? We know when the iPhone 5 is coming out. Does anybody know if September. it? September. Yeah. Uh, they have announced in September coming. Yeah. It's just weird. It's because you knew this from the summer. Well, we we knew they were running behind on that. Do we have any hard confirms? I can't find them on whether they're going to say, Hi, have you been supporting Apple and buying Apple accessories? It's time to buy them all again. Do we? Uh, <laughs> Why? I haven't been keeping up. What? Uh, Actually, they may switch their, uh, their pin connector into a micro USB connector. Yeah, which means basically that universal pin connector that's been with the iPod since it's been an iPod may change. So all but the... You know what? It's like, yeah, if it's a micro USB like I have on every other phone, great. Finally, I can use it. It's not freaking time. time. <laughs> exactly. It's not Apple and Fly. It's I know, I'm sick of that freaking. Actually, it may. I mean, it, oh well, I guess if I'm an Apple user, uh, that'd be cool. I don't know. I mean, I yes, I would have to buy another accessory, but. At least it works with everything else, too. Well, well that's the thing. It's going to suck for anybody who's been supporting the Apple ecosystem because they have all these accessories and charge dongles and everything else that will now become paperweights. It was always too big anyway. It was like the air <laughs> was long, wide connection. I always got that nickel and dime feeling of like, using that uh, dock connector. You know, really? You know, I think you are the only two people I've heard respond positively to that yet is yet unconfirmed rumor. <laughs> like, a, like oh, I, 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 I have to make the smaller dock connector part. It's going to be a proprietary one, but it's going to be smaller than that. Yeah, it's, I, I don't think it's going to be the standard USB connector. I think it's going to be something else that's proprietary. Well, yeah, it, it, that's true. You know, Apple's renowned for like putting stupid little teeth and shit that. Uh, Makes it for probably, but hey, if, if they leave it alone and it's truly it's a regular old uh, micro USB thing, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, yeah, like, I, I, I hadn't them. thought about them doing a regular micro USB because it's Apple. The rumor going around is they're going to create another proprietary connector. It's just going to be smaller, so it's not the, the it's not the USB standard, and it's not what's become the oh, standard. Oh, so it's not. Oh, well, then I don't have anything positive. Yeah, it's basically you have to buy all new proprietary iDevice standards. I thought you was a micro USB. Well, okay, you know. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I heard the other rumor like, contrary to like standard components, you know. I was like, okay, it's proprietary, but it's new proprietary, which means all your old dot connectors are pretty much paperweights. And all you blind motherfuckers will have a giant screen or a bigger one for some reason because you're all blind. Oh, so your iPhone's going to be a bigger thing? The, the two rumors going around is the connector changing and that there'll be two versions of the iPhone. A bigger screen, like all the Android devices have been coming, so physically bigger, uh, except it'll be a retina screen. And they'll make a mini version because they're going to make a bigger one. You know, I was happy to hear that Jobs actually almost made the first iPad the 7 inch screen because they're like confirming this mini iPad thing or whatever it is. Because to me that has always been the, the, the best form factor, you know, that, that I like. But I find this interesting that they're going to have two sets of iPhones. If that's if that's if you're saying that's, that's the, the rumor. I, I know it's a rumor, but that would be a, a a part, a part, what do you think It would be a departure. Like well, no, I'm just saying it'd be a departure. I guess from what I'm used to um, well, probably doing, keeping the one model in a different well, color. Yeah, yes and no, but I mean, think what they did with the MacBook Pro until this last version of it. Where I they know, that's what I'm saying. Apple's kind of doing, you know, sort of like, remember where our discussion, is it going to be very jobs in, or is this like the new direction Apple and, and, and I'm, I think we're kind of seeing different, different, different outside of your own computer. Yeah, it, it, at the same time, it's more Apple than it's ever been. Why just at the no, other right. time? Microsoft is in that way too. I, I know. Oh, oh, on that note, I don't have it in the show notes, but what do we think about the fact that Microsoft supposedly bought the manufacturer of those oh dear god large touch screens that you'd need for Surface? Well, I guess they're wanting to get into hardware. Yeah, I'm gonna, that, that, I'm gonna say of all companies, Microsoft to make that purchase. Well, but the, you know what? It seems like that's where the era is now shifting to. Thank God we're kind of. Out. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember, it used to be this way before the Wintel era. 
it used to be everybody had their own kind of thing and you bought their solution and then we went to um, back in the days when we had Windows, when we had DOS slash OS2, we, we also yeah. we had Mac, and we had Amiga, and we had a whole right. bunch of cool stuff. Well, and originally, you bought, packages, you bought packages from different companies, and that and there was nothing wrong with that. It, now that mindset changed on the advent of the Wintel Alliance, but we realized a lot of the, the hiccups with that kind of thing, and, and I think we're resorting back to the way it was before the winter. Well, but the other good, but one of, that was one of the best things that came out of that was that you weren't, you no longer really had true vendor lock-in, except yeah, through companies yeah, like yeah, Apple. Yeah, but you bought the package, and it, you know, and it, and it, and it you can choose your package. There's pros and cons. There's pros and cons, but I think that. I, I hate what the Wintel Alliance did to technology. I, I mean, it did things for choices, but you know, we went backwards a lot. You you wish it was like uh, when IBM, don't you? I, I should work with IBM back then. Uh, what's, your, what's your question? You wish it was when IBM, so it was like Windows and Power PC, huh? Yeah, it was Windows, Power PC. You had Sun. You had. Um, what was that? Uh, SGI. You had a bunch of, of packages, at least when I started out, that you could really uh, buy into. Yeah, but those I, I think the Microsoft Office was like laughed at, and it was still Lotus Notes was clean and all that shit, you know? So, um, yeah, really, it took until the late 80s, early 90s for uh, the Microsoft Office. It wasn't Excel back then, it was, I forget what it was, but it was yeah, more. Lotus went to the what do you guys think of Sony's financial uh, problem? Can I talk about Sony? Well, he, he is. Uh, honestly, 50-50 rather they make it through the end. I don't think he will. I hope Sony survives. I mean, that's terrible to see somebody go, you know. I don't want any... I, Sony's are, made some good stuff in their day. You don't hope they can make a rebound. Yeah, but they make crappy computers out of it. Speaking of which, Rim is talking about licensing... Blackberry too. I, by the way, I'm pretty much going to be in the rim camp. I'm now just waiting. For yeah, it. we know. Uh, desktop, you're the OS 10 fanboy, and mobile, you're the rim fanboy. <laughs> well, I mean, I was web well, OS, but I know that's not good anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping for. And I've heard uh, really good news coming out of. Out of as long as they license it, what always scares the bejesus out of me about the total solution package mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. is it's like, okay, this is the package we offer, take it or be screwed. And yeah. it, it, it I, while well, I understand this is how they envision their product. Yeah, like you can't pick a tablet with more RAM. Yeah, yeah it, it's, I would prefer it be licensed, there be licensing terms that even I as the end user if I go, no, I want this. And yeah. well, I want to be root. I want to be in root access. I want to type in sudo and be able to see a, it has to be on my, you know, like a dollar sign, a dollar sign, number sign. You know? Yeah. Well, you know. I, oh, uh, what? What? Oh, I just, uh, was going to say that you guys know I got mountain one, right? Oh, did you? How do you like it? Well, there's some really good ideas. Bad shit, insane ideas, and some really what the fuck ideas. But I really like the part I like most out of all of it is dictator. Oh. It is. Well, I hear a lot of people saying that. You it's know, like I just hear it. It's really nice. It really it's works. It's not Siri. Dictation is not Siri. Well, it's Siri's uh, what speech, speech recognition, but only. Uh, uh, let me ask a question because I haven't actually played with it myself. How does it compare to something like natural speech? Well, here's the thing. It works on every single program that uses text. I don't think natural speech speaks only works with its own program. You're going to work with LibreOffice. Yep, it even works with that. Okay. So it's a, it's a core-wide uh, text speech recognition thing. Yeah. Okay. What if it works with the IRE Max? How, how's the calibration curve on it? Uh, for, well, I, I've managed to get it to recognize a whole bunch of words, but for some reason it won't recognize the word glitch. <laughs> it won't recognize the little hand thing from Reboot? How dare it! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it's actually pretty good. Notification pregnant is also useless, but that's only because...
I can see that. Yeah. Okay, that's because Apple doesn't actually install open source stuff. Who cares? It's ground. Well, I do. Well, I do like how iOS is now going to talk with OS X and every other OS. I, Bob actually tweeted, uh, put that question in that on, on Twitter because he knew that's something I like. But uh, and so I do think that's a pretty cool thing uh, to bring in desktops. If you want that shit useless, and I don't know why the fuck the Apple put it in <laughs> there. It's not uh, useless, like, if you're working, because I can totally, I'm totally talk about that. No, he's going to talk about a different feature, but... Oh. <laughs> I'm saying if you went back to useless completely, I don't know why I have to put it in there. Go get, uh, game, go, go look at Game Center on the about line. For the same reason that Microsoft put one into Windows 7, they want the f they want the industry to go through them, not through the third party companies like Steam and so on. It's that they realize they have lost that, and they they want to put the genie back in the bottle. Both of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait, wait! Here's some here's an idea. How many uh, Windows And Microsoft doesn't own enough to do that. I don't know, man. The Apple Goliath is marching on. That's all I know. Yeah, the only problem is they have no IP of their own, a uh, video game IP to take on the consoles and or the. Uh, I don't know. Us it cares, you know. We're oh. tech geeks. We don't really care about gaming consoles. Anymore. No, no, Kami, don't you dare turn into the Emic 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we have definitely made... Why are you talking about the cat in your bathroom or something, alright? This is my cat right now playing around with a kid with a box. Does your cat like catnip? I, I, I just think that Samsung is, is uh, you know, as the hardware side of things supposedly is from an old ass... I've been trying to save some articles and things, but it says Apple, Samsung pick 100% of the aim set profits. That's interesting, you know, because they're they are they are just taking the hardware side of things with Samsung. So I guess Samsung is the the new Android flagship. Uh, well, no, and uh, that's really funny because Samsung is the Android flagship, but Apple is so dependent on Samsung for so much of their hardware, and it, it looks like Cook was serious about what he said because that um, that patent dispute between them and everything it, it it's quietly being swept away and settled. As we speak, it's all but dead. Well, that's because uh, Google's got uh, Motorola. 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 Mot